Hello, my name is Frank, and we will be reviewing the Apple iPad. <clears throat> this has been around for, I don't know the launch date, but I'd say a few months. I'm um, sorry about the bad quality, though. I'm recording on my iPod 4th Gen. But overall, it's a great device. <clears throat> it's it, I only have the 16 gigs Wi-Fi because I didn't have a lot of money then. But, I mean, it does more than my PC laptops. With all the apps that's compatible with it. People say it doesn't have a camera or USBs, but with all the good stuff it does, it makes up for that. Let's get into some of the apps it comes with. Maps, which is your basic standard app, like satellite pictures that you can, um, like, <laughs> um, it's in the wrong mood. Um, Hold on a second. See, it has like, I would call them glitches. I don't know. But you can see right there where I'm actually living. I'm right here. This is where I'm currently in. Well, see, it doesn't really go in far. Very bad thing, I think, about it. But they're free and they come with it, so you can't really expect much. Then it has your standard calendar. Um, <clears throat> contacts. Do you know what that is? I don't have much in there. I just have like two friends. Um, email. I usually just go on a laptop for that, but I'm sure this would do better. Um, also, notes, which you on. Let me just get into that. Basically. Hold on a second. Okay, well, you can see what it is. I forgot how to actually make a new note, but I don't know. But um, let's go on to the next. Next, you'll see photos. Right now, I didn't upload any photos on it. I was just playing around with screenshots. But actually, what I like about this is the multi-touch feature they take advantage of. They actually, actually like pinch them apart, and then boom, they open. It's, as you can see, it's just like a bunch of screenshots and stuff, but then you can just pinch them, put them back. So, I think that's a good app. I don't really like the iPod 4 Gen's fourth generation. They should, like, try to integrate that into the new iPod Touches or iPhones, too. I don't know about the iPhone 4. It might have it, because I don't have an iPhone, but <clears throat> let's move on. Sorry. Videos. I currently don't have any videos. I. YouTube. Um, let me review that. Um, you can go to your featured. I'm outside. I'm not really in strong Wi Fi zone, so. I have one bar of Wi-Fi, as you can see. And then I have my top-rated, most viewed. Well, I told you about the Wi-Fi, as you can see. Yeah, there it goes. Well, you get the point. Just on the most viewed. Um, Oh, also, something I should talk about. Search bar. Say I want to get... Type in a P. All my apps that would have to do with that would come up. Or is that all my apps? Well, they'll come up. And that's a cool feature, I think. Like, the iPod had it too, but you actually get to see the icons. Um, Let's go on to the next. There's a lot of cool games, like... Hmm... Oh, I forgot. Um, the iPod app. I only have two songs on there. Um. Yeah, two songs, and then it has the slider bar for volume. You can have your podcast, audiobooks, purchase. Well, I only have two songs currently. And then your albums, artists, albums, genres. Oh, sorry, I didn't get that. Songs. Artists, albums, genres. So, yeah. Um, 
oh, I never noticed that. But this is pretty cool. Like, say I have, like, a rock. It's like the genre. Say I have rock, it will have a picture for rock. Like, a guitar pick and the guitar strings. Say alternative, it have, like, an acid green looking picture. So that's a pretty good thing they did. I never noticed that. To tell you the truth. Um, yeah. um, they also make some good second, um, they also make some good apps that you can purchase for free, like Facebook, I always have to have, um, the Safari, as you can see, and I love, see, then you have all your pages, open a new page, there you go, wanna, wanna get rid of a page, there you go. <clears throat> As you can see, like, it's going over some of the basic stuff you'd probably figure it out yourself, but then you have the settings. I wouldn't really call that an app. And then, really, everything that you want. But, um, I think, let me go over the exterior really quickly. Let me touch up on that. Uh, I'm so mad at myself. I scratched it up bad, um, sat my keys on it, and that's what happens iPad logo, nice, kind of hard, like the back of the iPhone 4 feeling type of deal. You got your sleep-wake button to the right, like all the other iPhones, and volume rocker, rotation, or orientation switch, 30-pin dock, speaker grills, and all the same stuff that you'd expect. <clears throat> Overall, I really like it. It has this great display. The bezel's pretty slimmed down, so when you're holding it, your hand is somewhere to actually grab without interfering with your touch screen. So I'm going to close this video out. I, this is my first video actually. So please keep it chill in the comments. And um, I'll see you later. Bye.